concepts. Uh, I believe the passing games come along with the precision and timing. Um, you know, making corrections. People understand what you're trying to correct, yeah. and they're and they're fixing it the next day you come out. Coach Harbaugh said that his quarterbacks were making one big mistake per day right now. Is that still? I mean, what do you need to see from them over the next this week, and then obviously going through the summer? I think just you know. In terms of where where they need to go with the ball, uh, the progressions with their reads, uh, when there's no play to be made, make a play. You know, um, with and that goes for any type of quarterback in any system. It's not just this particular system here. Um, you know, that's that's what you're looking for. Is there a difference? I guess they've all had the same, but have you seen a difference between John being a second first year, you know, being uh, in competitive situation versus the other two guys, Jamie and uh, Wilton? I, you know, I think John's a real competitor. I, I don't think if it's if he's a red shirt, it, it doesn't matter to him. You know, he's he's a guy that comes out and wants to compete every day and be at his best. How do you distinguish between making a play when there isn't one to be there and trying to do too much? Where's the line that gets drawn between those two? I think those guys are just kind of naturally have. They know when to make a play. You know, they know when to step up and find a quiet spot spot in the pocket. They know when to scramble. Uh, they know when to get rid of the ball, not to take a sack. You know, I think it's just kind of the part of their DNA. It's in there, you just got to get it out of them. Was moving Mason more about the importance of that center position or just getting the top five on the field? You know, it just, you really want to get the top five and however you do that. And that's still, we're still evaluating if that's the best position for him. He's done a very, very nice job this spring. You know, that's, that's a hard thing to do is stand with the ball in your hand. You got a 300 pound guy breathing down your neck. You got to snap it, you know. And he's, he's really handled it beautifully. He's done a really, really nice job with it. Do you guys feel like Newsom is ready to start if need be? Or? Yeah, we, when we played him last year as a true freshman, we believe that he's ready to do that. Yeah, if that's what, you know, if that's how it all pans out. What's uh, different about him? You talked about like football lens is opening or whatever. Is his already a little more open than most? He's very intelligent. Um, you know, he's, he's a, he, he gets it. He can make a correction once he can fix it. Um, he understands what you're talking about when you talk to him in a room. You know, the screen doesn't go fuzzy with him. Um, you know, he stays with you in a conversation. So is Kugler doing a lot to impress you to make you Yeah, he's doing a great job. Make he, you think that if Cole's not, yeah, you absolutely, don't like that. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. He's, he's done a nice job. He's done a nice job this spring and, um, you know, really pleased with his progress. So is it in a way Kugler versus Newsom as far as who that fifth guy is? You know, we got other guys joining us in the fall. Um, you know, this is the neat thing about spring ball. You can move the lineup up around and, and you try to find the best five guys and you find your six and seven, like I mentioned before, you know, and nothing's, you know, stamped in cement saying, hey, this is what we're going to do. But right now, this is how we're doing it. And the nice, th nice thing about it is we got a spring game on Friday <laughs> night, but it's not like we're going to go play, you know, uh, University of Hawaii the first game, you know, on Saturday. So we got some time to kind of uh, mess with the lineup. We've been told that Devion is the clear lead guy as the running back, the starting running back. Is that how you feel? And then Devion's had a nice spring. What's after that? Then I mean, is there an order? Do you think? I think all those guys is by you know just by committee in there. Um, we got to see you know in spring ball you do a little bit of live stuff, but it's not all live all the time. It's a different deal when a guy's ready to tackle. You got to find that soft shoulder. And, you know, you kind of find uh, what what a guy's made of when that happens. Who stood out to you among those next guys? Ty's done a nice job. Um, you know, Kareem, Kareem has done a nice job in there. Uh, Kingston Davis. I mean, they've all brought something to the table. You know, it's it's really neat to see that, and you have some depth there. You know, which uh, makes it nice is you can you know rotate guys through. Kayla's was saying that the Ty seems hungrier. That was the word he used coming into the season, coming off of the last season. Do you see that? Yeah, he's lost some weight, you know, he, he's got his weight down. You can see that uh, it's a very, very important to him to to be good. Uh, but I think it's just maybe it's just his growth as a football player and the growth in this system and, and what we're doing. You know, as you get a year older, you know, the light kind of goes on a little bit brighter and they start to figure it out. What kind of is Jabril practicing on offense? Right, uh, he's been, uh, you know, we can use him on offense. He's been primarily with the defense, but there's times that we can use him on offense. Does that mean you have used him in practice? or? Uh, at times, uh, not th this spring we have okay. not, if, if that's what you're yeah, asking. No, not this spring. Okay. <laughs>